I'm back with a new project. Because I forgot to run some wires to the light switches in my hallway for controlling the lights in the yard, and now it's too late to run wires because everything is finished, I decided to use an RF relay board. I need to control three lights with on and off state, three other lights with on, off and out of state with a peer, a motion detect peer, and a switch that will allow me to open my main gate. After a few hours of research, I decided to build my own, because nothing that I found was providing the needed security for the RF transmission or the possibility to have three states for one button, and since I want to use it for my electric gate, I don't want anyone to be able to open my gate whenever they want. For more on an RF security, you can watch Semicom Cars video to understand what I'm talking about. So. I want a low power transceiver because I want to make it like a light switch which will stay on the wall in my hallway and run on batteries. I want the code to be flexible enough so I can add in the future more states for the buttons and other options. I want a secure transmission with encryption between the transceiver and the receiver or in my case receivers and most importantly I want a rolling code that both the receiver and the transceiver will know because in this way I can distinguish between used codes and unused codes and I can block all the used codes and in this way the receiver is safe from anybody who wants to replay a used code to open my gate or even my light. After a few days of thinking I realized that all that I need is to create a message with a unique identifier, the switch number and the state to add a rolling code to encrypt the whole message with a known password and transmit it. After that, on the receiver side, I need to decrypt the received message with the known password, split the message to check the identifier, the switch number, the state and the rolling code and execute the command only if the rolling code checks out. In the code, you have the option to save or not the rolling code to EEPROM. By default, is to save it, but if you restart the remote, you must also restart the receiver if you don't save it. You have the option on what number of uses or increments to save the rolling code to the EEPROM, by default is 50, and you have the option to reset the rolling code if pin 12 is at ground when you restart the controller. I also wanted the project to be scalable, so that's why I've added a unique identifier to the message, because now I'm able to distinguish the remotes, I can use how many remotes and receivers I want, and I can combine them however I want. After another few days of research and testing, I found all the things that I needed and started to put them all together until I came up with this working prototype. Because I want to scale the project in the future, I decided to use for the remote the 80 mega 328P with the, trans the transmitter H34A RF module on 433 megahertz and by disabling the ADC and the BOD module in the low power state of the 80 mega, I managed to get the current consumption all the way down to 0.20 microamps and with the LED off to a maximum consumption of 80 milliamps for almost a half of second while transmitting the message which is extremely important for the AAA batteries that are powering the remote. From various tests that I saw online, a typical Duracell AAA battery can deliver almost 1 amp hour with a consumption of 100 milliamps. So with our consumption, we will have a long battery life. I've done the math and in theory, here are the numbers. Of course, in practice the numbers will be lower, but still the battery should last at least 2 or 3 years. Because 80 mega 328 has only 2 interrupt pins, 2 and 3, and in the final version I will have at least 8 buttons, to be able to wake up the controller I came up with a simple but clever solution. I've used 1 and 407 diodes to send the signal to the interrupt pin 2 for every button and in this way I'm able to wake up the controller check the input state, compose the message and encrypt it, send the encrypted message and put the controller back to sleep to wait for another button to be pressed. So with this simple solution, all I need is one interrupt pin to wake up the controller. 
to conserve even more power, I'm using pin 4 as an output and I'm powering on the transmitter only to send the message, after which I power it off and that's why I'm able to get the current consumption all the way down to 0.20 microamps in sleep mode. For the receiver, I'm using the standard Arduino Nano with LR45A RF receiver module because I don't need to conserve too much power here. For the range, uh, with a 5 cm solid copper wire on the transmitter side for an antenna and a 10 cm solid wire on the receiver side for the antenna, I was able to get a solid reception at 25 meters at indoors through 3 volts. At outdoors, I didn't test it yet, but I think that the range will be at least 50 meters. So, let's see it in action. Here we have the remote. We have 5 buttons, and here is the receiver, the Arduino Nano, and 5 relays. For the first 2 buttons, we have 2 states, on and off. For the third button, we have three states. We can actually have four states, but I only need three states. And to obtain these three states, I use two relays. This is state one, state two, and state three. The fourth button corresponds to the fifth relay and it's a time-based relay for opening the gate. The fifth button is to turn on or off all the relays except the time-based. The first state is the auto which is by default, the second state will be on, and the first state will be always off. That's why when I'm turning always off, this relay is on, and always on, this relay is on. For the remote, I already have the enclosure, which needs minor modification. Here are the three batteries, socket, holder. These are two magnets for easy attachment to the wall. I only need to put two small plates on the wall and embed them there. And in this way, I'm able to take the remote wherever I need. In my final version, I will have one remote and four separated receivers, each of them reacting to their corresponding buttons. In a future version, I want to add the option to have multiple rolling codes to be able to use multiple remotes with the same receiver unit. I want to add H34A transmitter RF module to the receiver so I can confirm the states of the relay and I want to build a network hub bridge with a transmitter and the receiver module to be able to control all my receivers from one web page. This concept is not new but from what I know and tested so far none of them have proper security RF transmission because most of them use uh, static codes and can be simply hacked by replaying an early recorded transmission. If you want to use this project, don't forget to change the default password for the encryption, because otherwise the security of the transmission will be almost equal to zero. And the main object of this project was just that, 
to have a strong security with a low RF power transceiver. As in the previous project, details and download links are in the description, everything is customizable in the code and also everything is commented so it should be very easy to make it your own. And if you do make it your own, please share with us your implementation. Hope you liked this project and if you did, please like, share and subscribe because that will help me in making and sharing more projects like this. Thanks.